Thank you so much for watching the Ask Bunka Show. Today we were asked, how do I add a sitemap from Yoast SEO to Google Search Console? They said they can't find it and we'll show you where to find it and how to add it. Today's question was asked on our website, pressavenue.com. Just click ask a question, fill out the form. We'd love to answer your questions about WordPress, using WordPress for business, whether it's your business or for clients. Please let us know in these comments, in the comments below if you have additional questions or need any more help. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're gonna submit our sitemap to Google via the Google Search Console, and we're doing it with WordPress's Yoast SEO plugin. So here we are at Google Search Console. We've simply logged in and verified the site, and there's nothing to see here because it's just been added in the last five minutes. On the left-hand side, you'll see it says sitemaps. When I click it, it has our domain name, and then it says enter sitemap URL here. A lot of people choose to use Yoast, and we really like it as well. So when you log into your WordPress site, if you go to SEO at the bottom, so it says Y SEO, here it is Yoast SEO, you will see uh, our WordPress site here. Now they've kind of hidden the sitemaps feature. It used to be a little more prominent, now it's not. Um, this shows, you know, we gotta connect we got to rate them. That's not really a notification. Um, and then here it is again. So I usually just get rid of these. If I go to features, um, again, it's not really standing out to people where it is. So under features here, there's all these features. If you look under XML sitemaps, they are on, but there's no link. There used to be a link in past uh, versions of this. Now you click the question mark and it pops up that uh, little link area and it says here is your sitemap. See the sitemap, and then you can read more to why they're important. So if I click see it, it shows our domain slash sitemap underscore index.xml. So I'm pretty much copying that right there. And then you just keep in mind that if you use Yoast, it's always that across the board, but that's how you find it. If I go back to sitemaps, I paste our URL slash sitemap underscore index.xml, and I hit submit. And then now it's submitting the sitemap to Google. Depending on how big your page is, it may take some time for it to see everything. So I click got it, success. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Click that thumbs up if this was helpful. Additionally, click the red subscribe button. After you click subscribe, a little bell will show up next to it. If you click that, it'll notify you when more great videos like this one come out. Thanks again for watching.